it's not a surprise that Deputy Commissioner of Police, Abba Kiare, has been named as a defendant in a criminal complaint filed in the United States, a federal criminal complaint. What should be a surprise to you is that it took so long for this to happen. Remember that Abba Kiare in Nigeria is reputed to be one of the finest police officers in Nigeria. So much has gone into painting Abakari as the ideal police officer in Nigeria. I think that is true, and that is also false. True in the sense that what it takes to be a police officer in Nigeria, to be a good police officer in Nigeria, is to be a criminal. So Abakari is not unique in the Nigerian police force. He is typical. That is what the Nigerian police force had become in the world. The indictment of Abakari, however, tells us that the best of Nigeria is indeed a crook, a dangerous crook. It is very clearly illustrated in the complaint filed in the U.S. District Court in California. Anybody who is familiar with the way the United States criminal justice system operates or how the office of the U.S. District Attorney operates will understand what has happened. It is profound. It took them many years or a long period of very painstaking and thorough investigation to come up with that indictment. But it also tells you how the Americans define or approach their work when it comes to prosecution. They knew that for the case to happen, for the crimes charged to occur, there must be a state actor involved. There must be somebody within some government in the world giving these first stars cover. Otherwise, it would be impossible for what happens to happen. If every police officer they came across in the world performed his work in accordance with the law. So from the point of view of the U.S. authorities, this is a big case, and what made it big is because of the cover provided by a state actor. And it turned out to be a very powerful, influential state actor in the Nigerian law enforcement. Abakar is like a guard in Nigerian police. He could do anything. He could kill anybody if you paid him enough to do so. It is evident in what is reported. But Abakar is not alone. That is how the Nigerian police operates. And what they didn't understand was that the United States was watching. And U.S., of course, is the most powerful when it comes to subpoena powers. They were able to subpoena everything. Facebook charts, um, Instagram charts, WhatsApp charts, pictures exchanged. Even those things you thought you deleted, they have the capacity to dig them up. You are talking about the most powerful nation in the world. They knew. They watched Abakari. The more Abakari celebrated in Nigeria, the district attorney would smile in his office. Because it confirmed their theory, their impression, their belief about this criminal chain of criminal conduct. A powerful actor was behind it. A powerful actor must be aiding it. A powerful actor must be providing cover. They knew they would get that actor. They watched him. So each time Abba Kerry made all these elaborate efforts to project himself positively in the press, sponsor awards for himself, sponsor positive mentioning in various blogs and newspapers, and Nigerian government continued to fall for it, giving him award, decorating him. The United States, this district attorney, was calculating, was watching. Each time, I can tell you, that each time Abakari got an award, it made the case more interesting. Each time he got promoted, the district attorney got more interested because they were looking for the actor, the powerful actor, the influencer, the person without which all this would not have been possible. You don't understand what it means to be in the position of Abakari. Otherwise, you can see that these guys could have been arrested long time ago. They could have been put out of operation. 
if every police officer that came across did his work in accordance with law, but somebody ate it. Now, what does that say about Nigeria? It doesn't matter. You can praise yourself all you like, but evidence is evidence. Fact is a fact. And in the United States, it's not a perfect system, but it's not as bad as Nigeria. They could dig up this. And they have presented a compelling case. Do you know what it would take? The U.S. District Court, the Chief Judge of the U.S. District Court, to approve a warrant, to issue a warrant for the arrest of a top police officer of another country, they thought about it very deeply. They watched it happen. That is Nigeria. That is an embarrassment, whichever way it goes. Of course, Abba Kari had tried to explain his involvement with this, the ringleader of the team, and he talked about buying clothes, talked about communicating. The fact is that you should have arrested him. He should have arrested, he should have stopped the criminality going on. He did it. And I can tell you something. Once Abakari goes down, once he's no longer in that position to exert extraordinary influence and control things, more victims will come out, more information will come out, and the country will be shocked. I think the president of Nigeria has a big challenge in his hand. His police force, up to that level, is very thoroughly compromised. This has been my problem with the police. I came forward, I took risk, and I warned Nigeria that the Nigerian police had become, Nigerian police force had become a major crime gang in the country. For saying that, I know how much I suffered. I know how much I was punished. I won't know how much I was victimized. But I'm being vindicated. I have nothing personal against Abakari, but I am looking at a police force that promoted, championed, projected this man as their best. If Abakari is the best of Nigerian police, you can imagine how, what the worst would look like. God help us. God help us in Nigeria. And I hope, Mr. President, you got your message. It is very clear. I don't know how this one could be swept under the carpet. It's too late. It can't be swept under the carpet. All the 419 activities, the scamming activities, all these big players terrorizing the world with scam and fraud and damaging the image of Nigeria, they are protected by powerful people in government, powerful people in the police force, powerful people in law enforcement agencies. It's a pity, a tragic pity for that country, Nigeria.